So ColourPop has launched, I guess it's part two of the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon collaboration. If you guys recall when the first Sailor Moon collection came out, it was a bloodbath. It sold out within seconds. People in certain countries were angry because apparently there was a licensing issue and so ColourPop couldn't sell the, the Sailor Moon collection in certain countries and they didn't tell anybody ahead of time. So it was just absolute chaos. Well, this is part two i'm assuming of that particular collection although it's been a few, few years since the first one came out i'm somebody who nowadays doesn't get very excited about color pop whenever i see a new color pop launch these days i'm kind of like because mm, pretty much everything looks the same but i do love sailor moon so i did go ahead and get the full collection which is not something i tend to do with color pop these days but this is one of those things i picked up specifically for the packaging i did notice that it was smaller this collection is smaller than the initial collection and when i checked the website everything is still there let me go ahead and show you what's in the collection we have the for love and justice pressed powder eyeshadow palette i will drop in close-ups of this i took close-ups of the eyeshadow palette i think that the artwork on it is absolutely adorable i think it is really really cute with the bubbles and you have all the sailors on the front i will say though that i feel like with this collection in general colourpop didn't put as much thought into it it's like they were counting on the theming and the the you know sailor moon name itself to be enough to sell the collaboration but like i said none of the products the last time i checked had sold out everything is still available which is not what happened when the first collection launched i love the sailors on the inside of the cover that's really really cute too and the color story itself it's okay i will say it's not the most exciting and i'm i'm not sure if it totally represents sailor moon but when you look at the pans in the palette you're seeing some shiftiness you're seeing some iridescence you're thinking wow this is going to pop but when i did the swatches you guys i was a little disappointed i felt like where ColourPop formulas are concerned this one kind of dropped the ball i don't feel like they put that much effort into the formula that they just didn't really care that much how it was actually going to perform because they were counting on the theming being what sold the product overall i just feel like this whole collection felt more subpar in comparison to the first pretty guardian collection that they launched let me show you the palette that came out in the first collection this is of course the pretty guardian as you can see with this one it's holographic I thought this was so freaking cute. I felt like with the first collection, they just put in a lot of thought into how this was going to be. I mean, look at that. So freaking cute. Same thing with the blushes. In the first collection, they launched two blushes. In this collection, they launched two highlighters. I will show you the highlighters in just a moment, but I do want to show you the packaging first. This is the packaging for the original collection, as you can see holographic shift. So freaking cute. While the packaging on the new ones is cute as you can see there's no shift to it i just kind of feel like they just dropped the ball with this they could have done so much more and i felt the same way about the formulas in the highlighters as i did in the eyeshadow palette first we have moon kingdom this is kind of a purpley iridescent highlighter did i need any more purple iridescent highlighter i think if any of you guys have watched my collection videos and you've seen like my spooky makeup you saw my last shot my stash you know i have plenty of purpley blue shifty highlighters i did not need another one but i you know i got it for the packaging of all the blue purple leaning shifty highlighters blushes that i do have this one is this is just the bottom the other ones that i have were so much more shifty so much more iridescent just pop this one did not i really had to work to get this to show up on the skin and it just the, the shiftiness just did not exist i did do um individual close-ups in a shorts video it's already on my instagram and tiktok it'll be on youtube tomorrow the day after you're seeing this video if you want to check that out to actually get like some actual close-ups of it but yeah i was disappointed in like the lack of shift in these particular highlighters the other highlighter is moon lights i believe that's what that one says and this one is supposed to be from appearance kind of like a pearlescent pinky shift barely any kind of a shift at all yeah i was a little bit disappointed in the formulas in this collection compared to the ones in the original now once again on the eyelids 
you know, the performance could be absolutely amazing. One never knows. This is what the outer carton looks like for the highlighters, by the way. I'm definitely going to be saving the packaging. Now, with the highlighters and like the lip pencils, the packaging is the same on both. So I only need to keep one. I don't need to keep both. Next in the collection, we do have two new cream gel liners. And like I say, I was not impressed with these either. We have seen these shades before. These shades already exist. It would have been nice to have gotten something that was like super metallic, a little bit iridescent, you know, maybe a little bit of kind of a multi, multi trichrome, whatever kind of going on with this. I don't know. These are just very subpar as well. Packaging is cute, but we could have done better here. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them though, because I did not swatch these in my close-ups. The first one is Pretty Tokyo. Let's swatch this on my hand. There is a slight kind of a blue to gold, a little bit kind of a shift in there. We'll see what it looks like if, you know, whichever one it is that I decide to put in my waterline. The next one is Azuba Jabon. Please forgive me if I'm <laughs> butchering that name. Yeah, n nothing exciting about that one. This one has a little bit of a turquoise -y to gold kind of a shift. I see absolutely nothing in that purple. That purple looks like 20,000 of the purples ColourPop has already launched. They also included a dewy face gloss. I have never used one of these before or owned one of these before. The shade is called Moon Crystal Power. I can assure you I will never use this. This is what the outer carton packaging looks like. It did look pretty when I did the swatch, but it was very kind of greasy. Definitely would not like the texture on my oily face. It was one thing I do not need is, you know, dewy oiliness added to the greasiness that my skin already is. That's the, the packaging on the inside. And there is kind of a slight bit of an iridescence in it. I'll say I kind of liked the, the glitters that they launched with the first collection more than this. This to me, I'm just not impressed by. I will be keeping it for collecting purposes, but it will probably go straight into my archive. This will never touch my face. The last things in this collection, there are two lip kits. We have the Pretty Guardian Ultra Glossy Lip and then the Transformation. So this one is a pretty glossy. This is probably going to be the one that I'm going to use. And then we have Transformation. So we have a nude and then kind of a blue to gold, gold iridescent gloss in here. And then we have more of a purple lip and then kind of a neutrally more um, bronzy nude type of a gloss. This is, like I said, this is probably going to be the one that I'm going to end up using today. But that is everything that is in the collection. I just feel like they could have done so much more with this. And honestly, as far as like the products, I would have liked to have seen some more blushes. It would have been cool to have seen them take the holographic shiftiness of the first collection and added that to this one. But like I said, I really feel like ColourPop was banking on the theming and the Sailor Moon name to sell this collection. And as I checked last, none of the products have sold out. A lot of that I do attribute to just ColourPop fatigue. Now this year ColourPop didn't launch as much as they did last year. Last year they kind of went overboard and were launching things left and right. They've slowed down considerably this year, but still I feel like there's a lot of fatigue with customers where ColourPop is concerned. So no matter what the collection is, they just don't get excited about it anymore like they used to. But that is the collection. So let's go ahead and try some of these products on. I am going to once again do my ColourPop party proof eyeshadow primer in caramel and then we'll come back and i pulled out one of the blushes this is the from the moon from the first collection I actually just showed you the shiftiness in the cover so i'm going to apply this blush once we once we get back and then we'll move on to the new products and the new collection i'm going to take this fluffy kind of a round brush i got this as part of a brush set that i got from walmart quite a while ago. I love this for applying blush. We're going to go ahead and apply this from the moon shade. This is such a pretty soft pink. I mean, oof. I have all of the pieces from the original Sailor Moon currently, I think all of them, currently in my archive because I just don't use them very often. Such a soft, pretty pink. Oh, that is gorgeous. I definitely would have liked to have seen ColourPop launch new blushes with this collection. Like they could have launched new blushes. I would have liked to have seen them launch some new cream blushes with this collection and then the highlighters. Just the highlighters alone, they just they just don't do anything for me on their own. And I don't even think that they work well with the original blushes. You know, like they don't really compliment. I don't know. I just feel like they could have done more. For the highlighter, since I am doing more of a pinky blush here, we are going to go with the Moonlights, which is that 
pink kind of an iridescent highlight so we're going to try this one on the cheek hopefully the performance on the cheek will look better than the performance you know in the swatch i have quite a bit of product on here so let me just lightly tap or go a little bit too crazy um yeah there is not much going on it's just it's very powdery it's like a very powdery highlight you can see a lot of the texture on my cheek yeah i am not impressed with that formula wow yeah very disappointing very disappointing i'm gonna go back in on my blush brush just to kind of blend everything together like there's barely any kind of a shine going on in that highlight and it just looks very powdery color pop come on you can do better than this for this look i think i want to go into this blue which is not certainly that something that i normally do that shade is called starry sky i had to get my little magnifier here because the names are so small and then they're so light <laughs> i can't read them this one is really really pretty actually this one actually swatched pretty well i would say i was impressed with it we'll see how it performs in the eyelid but it's a rich blue with flecks of gold in it kind of like their sequence sequin matte formula i want to see if the the gold translates in the eyelid or if it just dusts away you could see it in the swatch lots and lots of fallout there tap some of that off and start applying it to the outer corner here you can see some of the gold most of it has flecked away flecked away which usually happens where the um sequin matte formula is concerned with color pop it's an okay blue nothing that i haven't seen before reminds me of the one in what is it the limoncello palette just has flecks of gold and it's it's no different this would have been really pretty as a shimmer like a super shock a deep rich deep sugar uh, super shock with those flecks of blue oh my god as a super shock that would have been incredible i'm just gonna build up a little bit more of this blue in the outer corner it's not super pigmented either <laughs> i'm gonna take just a little bit and we're just gonna go ahead and start softly blending that into the crease i'm using my favorite beauty bay brush by the way you guys know how much i love this brush i swear there is an incredible amount of fallout i don't usually see this much fallout with ColourPop shadows i'm gonna take a real techniques pointed crease brush here and we're gonna go into her destiny which is this lighter kind of a lavender purple and we're going to blend that into the crease that shade doesn't have as much fallout as the first one that first shade has so much fallout i'm like wow i barely tap into the shade and just powder everywhere i think you guys can probably tell that overall i'm just not super impressed with this collection i'm going back in a little bit more of that first shade i haven't added any product to this brush i just want to kind of blend it some more one thing i didn't mention was when i did the swatches there's a couple of sh like shimmer shades in here this one on the top here and then this one right here they were they were very emollient and almost greasy feeling definitely didn't like the texture of those either but let's go ahead and move into shimmers i'm gonna lay down my base booster from bh cosmetics and we're gonna take aqua aqua is kind of a periwinkle blue going into like a little bit of gold and we're gonna take that into starlight don't want to do that no starlight is one of those greasy emollient shades never mind we're gonna go into this one instead that shade is called friends forever so let me lay down my base booster and then we'll start laying down these shimmers i'm going to use once again the angled flat side of this double ended bh cosmetics brush i'm going to dip into aqua i kind of feel like i'm doing a look similar to something that i just recently did i think it's the one oh what palette was that i can't even remember i think it was the first blend bunny look that i did in the initial first impression i don't know this is like giving me those, those vibes like i've done this look before before i lay down the inner shimmer i'm going to go back into her destiny i want to kind of lay a little bit of that up in here so i'm just going to take a little bit and just kind of go across the top taking that into the inner portion just to bring a little bit of something more yeah that's pretty now i'm going to take friends forever on this little flat brush here and we're just going to lay that in the inner portion that is a pretty shade still once again 
kind of dusty. You know how sometimes you're trying to find the right word to describe something and it doesn't come? Dusty, that is the word that I was looking for to describe the way these shimmers are performing. I just expect so much more with a collection that says Sailor Moon. I mean, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's just, there's barely, there's nothing there. It's so flat. It's so just not impactful. It's very bland. I'm just not wowed <laughs> by the way these products are performing at all. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera. I am going to do my liner, my lashes. I'm going to throw in one of the cream gel liners. And I think I'm going to do the blue one because this one has a blue to gold shift to it. So I'm going to throw this one in my waterline. We'll come back and then we'll try out one of the lip kits. Eyes are complete. I do like overall how everything came together, but still I'm just... <laughs> Could have been better. All right, let's go ahead and throw on one of these lip kits. And the one that I'm going to go with is Sailor Star, which is the kind of purpley and then more neutral lip, ultra lip gloss. And I don't usually do lip glosses. I'm not really a lip gloss person, but I'm going to try it just for the sake of the video. First, I'm going to line my lips with one of my lip pencils from Profusion. I got this as a free gift with a Casper the Friendly Ghost collection. They sent me five lip pencils. I think it's really cute because I don't know if you can see, but there is a moon on the top. So hey, it kind of goes with the collection, with the ColourPop collection. The shade is called Deep Red, but it's more of a mauvey purple so i'm gonna put this on real quick and then we'll put on the ultra blotted matte lip so i know that this is a color pop review but this is a really nice pencil it went on nice and smooth i like that i just realized that there are actually two different names on the back one is the ultra blotted matte and one is the ultra glossy and this kit the one that i'm about to use the ultra glossy lip is pretty guardian and the ultra blotted lip is sailor star and in this one the ultra glossy lip is transformation and the blotted lip is sailor fuku so transformation sailor fuku just wanted to clarify that let's apply sailor star i was never really a huge fan of the original ultra blotted lip i know that they've revamped the formula i think and relaunched like the entire line and then some new shades i will say that this version feels creamier the original formula was very liquidy and extremely drying on the lips this one feels much creamier almost feels kind of oily i'm going to give this a second to see if it's going to dry down and then we'll apply the glossy lip over it it's been a few minutes and it does feel like it has dried down let's do a kiss test yep it has dried down it actually feels a lot more comfortable than the original ultra matte lip or ultra blonde lip Felt. Is it my favorite formula? <laughs> Still no, but it does feel more comfortable. It doesn't feel as dry and crackly as the original formula did. And let's apply the Transformation Gloss. I'm just going to put a little bit over. I do like that finish. It has a little bit of an iridescent sparkle to it. It is pretty. It's not something that I would do very often because I'm not a gloss person, but that is pretty and it is comfortable all right so that is everything in this collection and while i had fun you know playing around with some sailor moon themed makeup once again i feel like ColourPop could have done so much more the eyeshadow palette you know the theming the artwork really cute but the overall color story very bland the shimmers are just kind of powdery they're a little dusty not impressed with that not much impact going on with this highlighter i felt like the highlighter was also very dusty i mean if you look at my cheeks now you just you barely see anything i expect to see iridescent shiny glow when i use a highlighter that says sather moon and then the liners this liner is pretty i mean you can i don't know if you can see there is kind of a turquoise to gold shift to it but it's still also bland could be so much more metallic just pow where that is concerned the glossy lip ultra matte lip they were okay i mean you know they're fine overall i feel like ColourPop could have done so much more with this collection as i've mentioned 20 times in this video i really feel like they were just banking on the sailor moon name itself to be what sold this product and just really didn't put much thought into the actual formula in the inside of the packaging a little disappointing yes i did buy the full collection i don't regret it you know as far as having it for the packaging because i do love sailor moon themed makeup in general but if you are wanting to buy this collection for 
or the formula on the inside you might be a little disappointed just letting you know all right so that is going to be it for this video i hope you found it helpful if you enjoyed it please be sure to give the video a thumbs up really does help to get videos into recommendations make sure you leave a comment let me know what you guys think about the video if you're new to the channel i would love it if you would consider subscribing make sure you tap the bell so you do not miss a thing and you can also follow me in my other socials i'm on tiktok instagram and facebook be safe take care of yourself and i'll see you in the next one bye